You guys got to watch this play. He gets the ball. He's posted up. He turns for the jump shot. It's not a jump shot. The goalie jumps up. He goes low, puts so much English on the ball, spins it in for a goal, screams like a maniac. You guys didn't watch that. You missed it. This is everything else you missed that you never planned on watching. First topic, the Big Bash League. This is Australia's domestic cricket league. It's underway. It's actually almost coming to a conclusion. So we got some big races going into the playoffs. The top five teams make the playoffs. The number one team, the Perth Scorchers. They wear orange, which is like reminds me of being burnt and they're scorching the ball. They're actually winning with defense, in my opinion. They catch everything. They're just diving catches. They're always positioned right under the ball. They even run out players. They're having a hell of a season. They were bumped from first place for a little bit by Steve Smith, who joined the Sixers. Steve Smith's one of the best cricket batsmen of his generation. He was playing in international cricket for Team Australia. They got a little break, so they come and they play in the the domestic league. He joins the Sixers. He scores 100 runs the first time in Sixers history. Then makes a great catch, has a run out, throws the dude out with a beautiful play. Steve Smith, smudge. He's kind of like a crazy guy too. He does a lot of antics when he bats. He makes a lot of things. He's addicted to hitting. I enjoy watching him. You guys would enjoy watching him too. Steve Smith, he's good. I think he's kind of like on the shorter end too. So you'd root for that. The other storyline is the Heat. They were not good. They were like in last place, second to last place. They've won their last three games. They're climbing up into fifth place. I like their uniforms. They got a cool color. Last time they got into the playoff format as the fifth place team, they beat some people. So be on the lookout. If you've got a young kid and you're up at three o'clock in the morning or you live in California and you need a midnight sport, tune into the Big Bash League. It's a lot of fun. My son likes it. Three o'clock in the morning. If he's up, we're watching. We also got college gymnastics going on. These two teams sitting right in front of each other and then the other team sitting right in front of each other. Two rows of them sitting right in front of each other for a, a group picture. More sports should do dual team pictures. And this, you know, everyone on the ice rink, just the whole blue line straddling each other. And then you take a picture so everyone can remember that match. You don't see this enough. And now it's time to go to the golf, the Latin American Golf Championship. Last year at this event, Mateo Fernandez de Oliveira had a putt fall just short. It would have tied him for the lead. Instead, there was no way he could win. He's sad. He's upset about it. This year, his final putt, it's closer than last year, but it does not drop into the cup. Oh my God. Doesn't matter at all. He set the tournament record this time, 23 under, which is a huge deal because now this kid, he's got an invite to the Masters, the US Open, the British Open, all the Opens. As an amateur, he gets to compete against the best. He's also in college right now. I think he goes to Arkansas, but I might be wrong. So sorry if I'm wrong, but cool. Everyone loves a redemption story. He was feeling bad last year. He's feeling great this year. You know who else is feeling great? The Team USA handball team because the World Championship of handball was underway. Pool play took place last weekend and USA was tied with a minute to go against Morocco. Huge. They take the lead, they win game one, they shock the world, we're coming for you, we're Team USA, they got Croatia next, and they go straight at them, just pretty goal, after pretty goal, teamwork, passing, moving it around, jumping, shooting, in your face Croatia, pretty goal, pretty goal, pretty goal, they're wearing dumb uniforms, that's not the country's colors, I don't like that, but goal, goal, goal. Only problem, Croatia scored 18 more goals than them. Another league in full swing that you guys aren't paying attention to is the NLL, the National Lacrosse League, box lacrosse. It's basically hockey, but lacrosse. It's five on five. There's walls. There's fighting, which is kind of just like street fights. They just like put their fists up and fight. It's, it kind of makes you realize that on ice, 
we're okay with it, but on it's weird. Anyway, some updates from the NLL, which I do breakdowns on a lot. I am a fan of watching this sport whenever there's nothing else on and I can catch it. The Rochester Nighthawks finished in last place last year, and they said enough with that. They're undefeated. They're the only undefeated team remaining, doing the damn thing. You know who's not? The Las Vegas Desert Dogs. It's their first season in the NLL. They've yet to record a win. They haven't scored a lot of goals. It's not going great for the Desert Dogs. Maybe a rebrand immediately. What a lacrosse game. Hellier wants to do it himself. Hey, and Clellan steals it. He's heading toward the empty net. Put it in the Clellan net. Clellan wisely pulls aside and he seals the win for the Desert Dogs. Let's go back to the BBL because this is a quick, fun play that you probably haven't seen a lot. Laba Shane, he's one of the best batsmen in test cricket. He hits the ball right back to the bowler. Bowler tries to make the barehanded play. They don't wear gloves, so it's all barehanded. It hits off his hand, doesn't get the ball, but don't worry, he ricochets it right into the stumps and the other batsman had left his crease and started the run, so he's out. That's a tough way to have your day end. Pretty unlucky. And that brings us to our final segment, Fan of the Week. We got four options here. Need you guys to give this a lot of thought. Don't vote all willy-nilly. Who are you voting for? Who was the Fan of the Week? Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want. See you later.